when you meditate, you have to be observant, watching what's happening with the breath, watching what's happening with the mind. And be alert to the fact that sometimes the things you're looking at directly are not the problem. The problem may be off a little bit to the side. So look around. See what needs to be done. This is one of the basic lessons of monastery life in general. We all have our jobs that we've taken on voluntarily. But there are lots of other little things that need to be done around here. And it's always good as you're walking past to check around and see what needs to be done. What needs to be swept, what needs to be cleaned, what needs to be taken care of. Don't think that just because you're doing what you've been told to do that that's enough. There's always more. It's the same with meditation. You can do what you're told and still not get all the way, because as all the Ajahns say, you have to learn how to use your own powers of observation. You can't expect everything to be handed to you on a platter, because otherwise you don't get the opportunity to develop your own discernment. This is what discernment is, is noticing things out of the corner of your eye that hadn't been called to your attention before. But you see, oh, here's a problem. Something needs to be dealt with. Something needs to be done. So it's good as you go through the day to look around and see what needs to be done. If you're walking up from the house, you may notice that there's some weeds on the side of the road. Well, there's no rule against picking them, pulling them out. The monks can't do that. But lay people, they look around, they say, oh, here's a weed that doesn't, shouldn't be here. Well, notice that. For the monks, there are things that need to be open, things that need to be closed, plastic things that need to be kept out of the sun, things that need to be dusted. And just because it may not be your specific job doesn't mean you can't do it. In fact, it's better. Here's your, an opportunity for merit, as what a John Fuhren called the, the grass at the gate of the corral. The cows go running out of the corral as soon as the gate is open, and they miss the fact that there's grass right there at the gate. They go looking for grass out in the field. So look around for the grass at the gate. In other words, use your eyes, use your ears, be observant. That way you benefit, the people around you benefit as well. The monastery becomes almost self-running this way, because everybody pitches in a little bit extra here, a little bit extra there. And then this habit then gets carried into your meditation. You may notice things with the breath that you were never told about before. Well, in fact, that's an important part of breath meditation, is noticing what your specific breath problems are. There's a tightness in your abdomen. Okay, what kind of breathing do you need to release that? What attitude do you need to take towards that tightness? If you regard it simply as an enemy, it builds up and gets stronger. If you look at it as a different kind of breath energy, that helps it to dissolve away. Things like this. Learn to be observant. Look out of the corner of your eye. Look for the grass at the gate of the corral. And you find there's a lot more opportunity for goodness all around you than you would have otherwise imagined.